<laughs> Good evening, everybody. Dr. Glow here with Black Girl Everything. Um, my room seems so dark today, but I <laughs> am here with the beautiful Robin. Hello, Robin. How are you? I'm fine. How are you today? I am all types of wonderful. It's been a very busy day, but I'm happy to be here to talk to you a little bit today. So Thank tell you me, what's the name of your business? Uh, Black Sage Cosmetics. Okay. And where are yeah. you from again? DC. <laughs> DC? Yes. You sound a little more Southern than DC. I know everybody says that. <laughs> yeah, because DC is still very metro to New York, so we kind of have that look. You sound yeah. like you're from South Carolina somewhere. Oh my God, not South Carolina. <laughs> you do, real stick like. <laughs> Just a little oh bit. Oh wow, that's crazy. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> no, it's not real. I love the South, so there's no need okay. to. I love the South. Definitely love the South. So tell yes. me, what made you start this business? Well, so I started Black Sage Cosmetics. Um, well, I started during the pandemic, and I okay. wanted to. I wanted to create something that was going to actually work every time I'm in the store, Walmart, mm -hmm. Target, whatever, those ingredients that were in on the in the in the products, they were just they just wasn't right. So mm -hmm. I figured, um, but I was I wasn't too sure what I was gonna do um at the time. So I was still kind of procrastinating. And then I was also selling um some detox tea to my cousin and he said, why don't you make your own products? And I was like, what? I was like, well, I don't even know how to do that. And he was like, why don't you make your own products? Like get your own vendors and kind of like do your own outsource because you know, this, you're selling other people's products. But if you just take the time to learn how to, you know, create your own, then therefore like you'll be able to, you know, make your products. So it took me a, a good year um to really formulate the correct products for black sage cosmetics but i finally came up with it after i went through selling lashes you know selling all types of different things because i kept looking at other people's business and i was like well maybe i should do this maybe i should do that and mm -hmm. i finally took a break after black friday um a couple of months ago and i finally came up with three products that were uh, that gave me the best um feedback so okay. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. So I, I, I rebrand my business. I did the whole colors over. So now it's black, red and white. Um, mm -hmm. And it's more of a luxurious brand. Um, I'm going to be having lingerie later on in the year. But at this moment, it's literally focused on three products and lingerie. And that's it. OK, fancy. Well, that was a mouthful. <laughs> No, but I get it because sometimes, you know, because you did a lot, right? You started at one place, you started yeah. doing something, it was working, kind of wasn't working, but then you started expanding and you grew and now you yeah. had a new space. Okay. Yeah. It's really funny. See my colors on my wrist? There's actually the colors yes. of black or everything. So yes. also the colors of your business. That's nice. Definitely cool. So, so you have a lot of different products. So tell me, what are the, some of the products that you are, that's now the staple of your organization? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So Black Sage Cosmetic, this right here is the Holy Grail. This is the Holy Grail. The Holy <laughs> um, <so> the <laughs> this is my number one product that everyone okay. loves from Black Sage Cosmetic. This is the one that everyone, I did a poll um, and it was like, bring back the hair cream. When you come back from taking a little break, bring back the hair cream. So this hair cream is now, it used to be six ounces, but now it's 12 ounces. So mm. this is a 12 ounce jar. I've like really rebrand the whole thing. So it is a hair cream. It's called the lemon sugar cake hair cream. And what it does is all you do is it, it moisturizes your hair. It, um, mm. it helps your hair grow. I mean, when I say I cut my hair was as short, short as yours in 2019. And when I started doing my hair products, it wasn't until the end of 2020. But when okay. I started formulating it correctly, it was in 2021 when my hair cream was created. So my hair cream right here is, that's the thing that does it. So everything is created from my uh, kitchen, from natural butters, natural oils that literally helps with the hair growth and hair oil and everything like that. Um, the next is my, um, my perfume. This is the Bobby perfume. I know there's nothing mm. in it. 
it's nothing in it because I just actually got the new bottles. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had temporary bottles until I sold them out. Um, okay. So now these finally came in. So I'm really excited because this is the perf this is the Barbie perfume. So I'm making homemade body perfume as well. And also, this is nothing in it as well. But if you can look on my website, you'll see that I have the facial oil cleanser because I had to get new bottles for these as well. But every I, I clear my skin with the facial oil cleanser and okay. my facial oil cleanser, which makes it very um, different. is the fact that it's not a notch. It's not a regular oil cleanser that just leaves your face really, really, really oily. It actually has a um, a component that's inside of it that's going to form. That's going to. Uh, um, I'm sorry. Um, oh my god. <laughs> It's okay. That's do yourself, do yourself a favor. You ready? Right. You ready? You ready? <laughs> so you're gonna go like this. You're gonna put your hands yes. up, you're push down, and breathe out. <laughs> this is my first interview. <laughs> and I can tell. I can tell. So yeah. when you're interviewing, you want to make sure people are actually hearing your points. Okay. Right. No problem. So just slow down a little bit for me. Yes. No problem. Give it to me I mean, a little bit really slower excited. so I can understand you. Okay. Yes, no problem. So what happens is, is we practice in our heads and then we want to spew it all out. But people can't right. understand that spew. So slow right. down. So what I would like you to do with your products, because mm -hmm. you're showing us what you know, the bottling, the casing that you're doing because you're expanding your brand. But yes. tell me about some of the ingredients you're using and why you like to use those. Okay, sure. So continuing with the foaming facial oil cleanser, the okay. foaming facial... <laughs> I love you already. The foamy facial oil cleanser. Mm -hmm. um, it has turmeric inside of it. It has grapeseed oil inside of it. Um, it has some of the natural oils that will help you formulate to get your skin from the blemishes and the acne. I suffer from a lot of acne issues and also blemishes. And mm -hmm. when my cousin gave me the idea to start, you know, creating my own biz, my own um, products. That this was one of the first ones that I did because I, when I say I had before and after pictures on my Instagram, and the, it was bad. It was extremely mm -hmm. bad. So, yeah. No, I can I can get you with that because what you do to your face and how you treat your face is so important, right? Exactly. Especially with us with our dark skin, do the acne out. You know, I swear I had bruising on my face until I was like thirty, from like when I was sixteen <laughs> years old until I started really taking care of my skin and knowing the proper things to utilize on it. Now I have this beautiful chocolate face that everybody loves. Exactly, you look so good. Ah! Thanks, Bill. <laughs> All natural too, yeah. All natural, all natural exactly. Like all natural products for my face. No, yes. no chemicals whatsoever. So where do you see yourself going with this business? Like what are some of your goals? What is your big vision? So for, for Black Sage Cosmetics, my big vision is to continue working um, on online. Uh, I'm not really looking for a brick and mortar business, but I mm -hmm. am eventually looking for maybe a warehouse when I extend when I expand and then I'll be able to hire other individuals as well but I'm definitely going to continue to stay on the online store um route okay do you do pop-ups yeah I definitely do pop-ups I actually have one coming up next month um going, I'll be in New York actually so <laughs> wait, wait, wait 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 hold on hold on you're coming to New York next month do a pop-up and is it mine no yeah I'm going to New York. <laughs> when? Um, it's May the twenty first. I will send. I'll send you the flyer. Um, but yeah, it's May the twenty first. It's a really nice lounge and everything. It's from from like ten, from like three to twelve. Yeah, I'm gonna ca catch Which that. Which means you're missing train. my event on May twenty first at the Garden. Oh no! Yes, you're coming to New York, and you're not doing a Black Girl Everything event. I didn't even oh, know it was the same day. I'm so sorry. Yeah, mine's on the 21st. Black Women in Music. It is like the dopest event. I don't do a lot of pop-ups. I only do literally three a year. I do okay. my spring. I do a summer brunch. And I do one um, by Black on Friday, which is the day after Thanksgiving. I only do three a year. I don't do a lot. I'm not one of those pop-up maniac like people who do them every six weeks. I don't. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's I do a lot. three featured events because they're featured. Okay. Events. but you know you're gonna miss it so you gotta come up for brunch since you like coming to new york it's august yes. the 6th august the 6th oh my god i'm coming i'm coming send me the information i'll take another train <laughs> 
I'm taking the midnight train up to New York. <laughs> yeah, you're missing out on BGE events. I'm you know so you also sad. should come to? Because especially because it sounds like you're kind of fresh in the business land, right? Of growing mm-hmm. your brand. You need to come out to the Black Women in um, the Black the Retreat. Okay. In October. It's actually going to be in Pennsylvania. It's three okay. days event. It's three days from October 7th through the 9th. And mm-hmm. it is their Friday night. We have live music and it's a whole networking cocktail hour type of situation, mm-hmm. real sexy. And mm-hmm. Saturday is a conference where there's different workshops like social media presence, branding, law, um, resetting your life, like everything we have as well as a uh, match stuff. And then Saturday night is a celebration. We're actually doing the theme for Savannah Nights where okay. we have- Cuban food as well as dancing. Ooh, nice. And then Sunday is a whole brunch. Yeah. And it's it's really it's really affordable. It's only five hundred dollars for the whole weekend. Yeah. And then okay. you can get, yeah. It's not really uh, expensive. People be bugging. Exactly. It's so expensive. It's not five hundred dollars for three days, and you get uh, all your food and everything else like that. And then it's a kind of a cool thing because it's open bar. I don't know if you drink, but yeah, open I bar. Do. The whole entire weekend, and you don't have the to drive from the hotel to the retreat house. You actually mm-hmm. get shuttle mm-hmm. and a sprinter back and forth, so you can have a. Oh, good that's time. amazing! Oh no, it that sounds amazing. amazing! I would love for you to grand. send me over the information when you get a chance. I will as soon as you get off this call because I think it's something, yeah. especially for new business owners, it's a yeah. great opportunity for come out and network with people who've been doing this for a little bit, or people yeah. who've been doing it for a short span of time and has had amazing results. And you get to network and meet different types of people who have different types of businesses. So it's a great opportunity for somebody like you who's just really trying to get out there and really find your way. It's a great space to be in. Trust me, it's amazing. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Thank you for it. It is math. It is fun. I'm gonna have to get you right over there. So so you tell me about your product. So you have your hair. I wanna know a little bit more about this hair. Is it hair lotion you called it? What is it called? (laughs) The hair cream, the hair cream. Hair cream, okay, you use the word yes. cream. So yeah, your hair cream, cream which I yes. noticed you got that nice big jar. That's a lot of hair cream. Yes, it is. It's a okay. lot. So well, what are I'm, some of the benefits of the hair cream? So it rejuvenates your hair. Um, of course, we talk about the fact that the hair, it, it helps you grow your hair. It helps moisturize your hair. Um, it Like the ingredients that's inside of it is Shea Bay. So that comes from Africa. Um, I have some shea, uh, some shea butter. I have some coconut butter. I have a lot. I, those are the two mo- main butters that I currently use. And mm-hmm. then um, I'm also, I, you know, I have um, black castor oil and a whole bunch of other oils that really pertain to penetrating the hair and okay. making it healthy. When I say my hair was very short, and that was just because I decided to cut my hair from Mm -hmm. personal situations um and my hair is now really long so it's like pretty much almost as long as his wig okay (laughs) just from me actually using the hair cream um everybody that uses it 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 makes it so soft and just so healthy I went to the hair salon the other day and I didn't tell anybody about my products I just went there for a trim and everything and she said what are you doing to your hair I said, mm-hmm. wow, what's going on? She's like, it's so soft and healthy. Like, what are you doing? And I told her, that's when I told her that I create hair creams at home uh, with my business, Black Sage Cosmetics. And I talked to her more about that, of course. So, and it smells like lemon sugar cake. Like, it smells like lemon sugar cake. So, <laughs> okay. All right. So, people will top of your head to smelling you, like, ooh, you smell sweet. Yeah, and it doesn't have any of those irritating oils mm-hmm. like peppermint oil and all those different things. So yeah. it's like you leave it in, it's not greasy, you know, and I all, I promote my bonnet. So you put your bonnet on um, and then when you come up, when you, wake, when you wake up in the morning or whatever you're doing, you won't mm-hmm. feel the grease on your scalp, you mean, on your hair. So yeah. it's, it's mm-hmm. honestly an, an amazing uh, type of product because it really penetrates your, uh, your hair. Okay. That's definitely amazing. Definitely amazing. So tell me, so you say you told me what you want to do in the future, not really brick and mortar, you're going to really stay more so online and stuff like that. So are there any other products that you're thinking about increasing part of your stock? Um, besides those three products that I gave you already, yeah. it's the 
the uh, lingerie. So it will be lingerie. a customized, mm -hmm. the lot. Yeah. So it will be a logo customized lingerie uh, that's probably pertaining to maybe, you know, just something simple of a bra set or maybe a one set, but nothing too much that's going to overwhelm me because I was at one point, I ordered all different types of in, um, inventory in the beginning because like I yeah. said, I was like, oh, I was doing lashes and slippers and I was like, no, I want to stick to a very luxurious brand where this is this is what you get. You get four things, the, the three products and then the lingerie. It's a luxury brand where we focus on um, our, mo our motto is um, where self-care meets sexy. So mm -hmm. it's like so pretty much, yeah, so that's where the lingerie kind of come in, because it's like, you you want to feel, you don't want to, self-care doesn't have to always have to look basic, it can really just yeah. look, you know, really cute and luxurious, so mm -hmm. I just wanted something different, everybody else had pink, everybody else had other things, so I just wanted it to be a different type of cosmetic brand, and also the experience as well. Okay. All right. So how are you doing? Like, your, how are your, how's your customer base? Is it really based in where you're at in DC? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, the, in DC definitely, but also cause I'm online, I do have other um, customers that come from maybe Tennessee. I have, you know, have different branches of customers who continue. They, they have, they are very loyal customers because they come mm -hmm. back. Um, you know, they interact with me on Instagram and, excuse me, and they're the ones who gave me the feedback on what they really wanted more out of the brand when uh, I decided to, you know, do the rebranding process. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. So what do you want people to know about you? So tell me a little bit about Robin. Oh, gosh. I, <laughs> um, about me, I'm a mom, um, college grad, um, I got laid off um, twice. And that's mm -hmm. what really sparked my entrepreneurship because, you know, I always had that feeling of why am I here, the corporate life, and then I tried it again. And then the pandemic helped. It really actually helped because it's like, you know what, this is just telling me that I need to branch out and do my own thing. Um, I'm definitely self-motivated. I am a YouTuber and I'm also a TikToker as well. So I do comic, <laughs> I do skits um, to show my personality. Um, uh -huh. so I, my, um, my, my, my personal model is if somebody likes you, they'll eventually they'll buy from you because mm -hmm. of the, re the relatability that you have. So I, I put myself out there with my personality and my personality will sell everything else. Exactly. Good job, Robin. <laughs> Thank See, you. I'm really good at asking the real good questions because okay. the information that you want people to know about you. So okay. how can people find you on YouTube and TikTok? Um, it's, it's Robin. So it's I T S R O B B I N N. And that's on all platforms from Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, everywhere. So it's all the same. It's that's Robin. Wonderful. Look at you fancy <laughs> wancy. No, you so funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. That's so cool. So Robin, is there anything else you want to share? Besides the um, fact that you're in New York and not at my event? I'm so, don't you? You <laughs> well, I have a 20% off for all those who are currently on the live. Um, and all you have to do is use black and that's B L A Q U E for um, any of the, well, I just have the hair cream at the moment. And so that's it. So you'll get 20% off if you were on the live and I appreciate you. And how the, how, where are they going to buy it at? Oh, blacksagecosmetics.com. Sorry. <laughs> Black Sage Cosmetics and Black is B L A Q U E Sage Cosmetics.com. Very good. So if anybody <laughs> ever loses that, they can look on the Black Girl Everything YouTube channel because all your information will be listed there. Thank you, and my your love. Flyer, of course, is on my <laughs> IG page. Yes. And you know, you'll be around because you're gonna come to like BGE events now. Yes. And people can come meet you at the retreat because you're gonna book the retreat. Yes, I am. As soon as you let me know everything about it. Trust me. I'm a sent. I'm just gonna hit your email real quick. Boop, there you go. That's right there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> let me do it. So thank Robin, you. thank you so much for your time this evening. This is fun. You're very exciting. And I do like your personality. You do have a lot of it. Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Okay, wonderful. Thank you for so having until me. Until we talk again, I'll speak okay. to you soon. Okay, my love. Thanks. All right, bye.